Hello and welcome to episode 7 of Elixir Drops. So today we're going to be talking about processes and a little bit about task and agents. So let's get started. It's a lot to cover. As I showed before, when you start up an IEX shell, process, processes are already running. And in fact, we can list them out and we can grab one of these to take a deeper look. And let's assign the process ID or PID to that. And we can see that the process is indeed alive. And the process, of course, has some info on it. So if we look at that, we might be able to see a name or its current function. Looks like we grabbed application master, whatever that is. It has a message queue and uh, some other things in it. And <laughs> we're not going to look into all these, but uh, processes are basically pieces of uh, just a data structure that can, that can receive and send messages and a whole lot more. So you can spin up tens of thousands of these in Elixir and um, we're going we're gonna to show you that today. So uh, if we were to make one ourselves, we can spawn a process and it can do something like, uh, well, I don't know, puts hello to the screen. Oops, we need the comma there. And there you have it. Now, the thing is, is that since this already completed its task, uh, this process is gone. So if we wanted to keep it going, we could uh, change it to be something more like uh, have a receive block so that when it receives a type of message, let's say hi, then it will do something like um, say hello back. So we can say hello and we'll end that. And now that process is alive when we check it and when we send it a message, uh, we can send it a message and it, you know, send it something like hello. And we can actually go and look at that process's messages by uh, sending a second argument into the info method, message, messages, and you can see the two messages have already sent. Now once we send the correct, uh, what did we say, hi to this process, then it's fulfilled, it prints hello to the screen, and it's no longer alive. So uh, you won't really use this, this is sort of underneath um, things that are written for you in Elixir, you'll, you'll use something more like task, and uh, we're going to look at that, whoa, we're going to look at that in a minute. So let's imagine you had an API that you called and it took some time, so I'm going to make a little fake one here, and I don't know, have it uh, take 10 seconds to run, and then when it's done, it's going to say it's done. So uh, we can use task to go ahead and uh, spin that up and run that, and we can keep moving on, and we don't have to wait. So it's an asynchronous call, and we can do other things. You know, with uh, we can go ahead and look at what that, well, we can capture that process ID and whatnot. And I'm probably a little bit too slow. It's probably already, there it is, it's done. So <laughs> if we were to check if that process is alive, it's, it's most certainly not. Um, and then finally, we can use agents. So if you're getting into maintaining state or really want to dive into dealing with the process but you're not ready to deal with gen servers, totally understandable. Here's how you can use the statefulness and message passing, passing of uh, Elixir with an agent. So to kick things off, uh, this is just a module of books where we can like get an author's books and put books for that author like a, a map. So we start an agent like so, and we, we initialize its state. You can name the function, name the agent with the, uh, the current module, that's what this uh, is for. So if we were to do it this way, we can say agent get by that module, and we're going to pass it a function, and this, this is a callback function, so it's going to have state, and we don't want the entire state, we just want that specific author, and like so. And if we were to update or put uh, an author in there again, we reference the module or that process that we're updating. And again, it's a callback with state. And we'll go ahead and put this on a different line. And we can just pam. We can just pam put put our state uh, author into our state and the list of books like so. And there you have it. So let's take a look at how this might work. We can uh, go ahead and load this, and now we have our book, and we can start it up. There's the PID, but we don't need it since we're referencing that module, so we can go ahead and uh, put um, an author in here. So if we had, oh, I don't know, Stephen King, and his list of books, which are way too long to list out, but uh, you get the idea, so on and so forth. And now we've put that book, and if we were to go ahead and get Stephen King, like that, and we have it. Now, this is just a process like anything else, so there you have it. You've sent and received messages to and from it, and you're maintaining its state and updating it. 
So that's uh, t tasks, state, uh, sorry, task processes and, um, and how to use an agent in Elixir. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks. Bye-bye.